Welcome to Agora 2022 with the Ogut Schenatz. She knows a little bit of Italian. Buongiorno. <laughs> Buongiorno e buonasera. We know Fidia is an established pharmaceutical company in Italy and recently has also entered into aesthetic, aesthetic market. Can you tell us a bit more about this journey and why enter into aesthetic at this stage? Of course. Um, as you rightly said, uh, Fidia Pharma is an established company in pharmaceutical business for more than 75 years. And we've been studying hyaluronic acid um, for six years, I should say. Um, back in 1963, we developed our first hyaluronic acid-based topical products. I'm sure a lot of Italian families have known the brand, it's Connettivina. Um, and then back in 1987, we developed the drugs for intra-articular injection. So, as a pharmaceutical company, studying and being an expert in hyaluronic acids, today FIDIA is uh, at the forefront, globally, a leader in the manufacturing of uh, hyaluronic acid-based products. Um, we are present not only in Italy, uh, in, in more than 100 countries worldwide, including the US. Um, so that brings, and we are offering a lot of therapeutic area, products in therapeutic areas. So it doesn't come as a surprise that uh, now we are looking into entering into aesthetics market as being a leader in hyaluronic acid. We all know that uh, for aesthetic treatments, hyaluronic acid is the most trusted and safe ingredient that is used. And we've been studying this industry for years now. We believe today um, it is the right moment for Fidia to bring in its uh, unique technologies and products because both the doctors and the patients are looking more and more into natural uh, results, natural treatments. Um, and quickly. And, sorry? And quickly. And quickly, yes. <laughs> so there are different expectations, but really, if you look at 10 years ago, um, it was just like maybe more dramatic changes. Now patients are looking more natural, uh, not very big dramatic changes. And we believe our products are really unique in the sense um, there are no similar products in the market. And that's really because we've been studying this molecule for so long and we consider ourselves as experts. In your opinion, what's, what is a beauty? Excellent question. Um, I can say it both personally, but also looking at the market results. Um, beauty is very relevant. Um, and we believe, and that's what we would like to bring as a philosophy, it's the natural beauty that we would like to enhance. Um, for sure, there may be patients, uh, people that wants to correct some of the deformities. Uh, but in the essence of things, we believe that it's about keeping your natural beauty as is um, and if our products uh, and if the treatments coming from doctors can help you advance that, control the aging uh, just a little bit, I think that will satisfy the patients and also the doctors. What does the future look like for aesthetic industry and uh, for Fidia? Um, well, Coming in now, of course, we're already seeing a lot of changes. This industry has been changing at a rapid s speed the last uh, five, 10 years. Of course, the COVID period accelerated that. What is acknowledged by everyone in the industry that aesthetic treatments are no longer a taboo. They're being a mainstream. So um, it's not only attributed to celebrity. So everyone at every age, um, is willing to take care of themselves so it's not superficial it's really um, a part of your well-being so consequently we see a shift also in the generation so it's not it's no longer the baby boomers that are claiming this treatment uh, a lot of the X generations such as myself but also millennials and the younger generation so the main difference is that for the baby boomers it was about reversing the the, the 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 effect of the aging whereas for younger generation it's about preventing so basically they don't want to look like their mother or grandmother when they're old they want to take their precautions now so i think this has a direct impact 
on the, the, the doctor's treatments, what they're offering, but also to manufacture the type of products that we are uh, offering. So we see that more and more doctors and more patients will be coming in. Uh, industry will continue to, uh, to, to expand. And for sure, innovation and uh, uh, different uh, technologies will be very key. And that's why we believe that we will, uh, we will be able to meet those needs. Um, not to forget that we are talking, we're looking at more the clinic, you know, the, the, the treatments that doctors are offering. But the younger generation will also demand more home treatments. So what we would like to do is um, also uh, provide products for home use. Last year we, we have launched uh, our cosmetic brand, that's Perfidia. So we will also innovate on that uh, area as well as for professional use like injections. How do you imagine the future? Um, I think Again, there will be more demand in the clinics, um, more uh, demand towards natural uh, look, um, but also some practical tools or products, topical products or tools or materials for people to use also at home. So our goal is to meet both of the demands. Um, and as we always have done, we are very much in believe, believing the evolving. So we are investing in innovations, research, um, and we will be able to meet those demands. Thank you, Thank you as well.